Yeah, in 2006 when the concept uh, Chevrolet Volt came out, it was not only groundbreaking from its technology that it was introducing, but also its look. People really were attracted to its look. It had this kind of muscle-bound green car look to it, which I know sounds kind of weird, but take a look at the picture, you'll see what I mean. Um, but then as we started going in towards production, we realized that it had the aerodynamics of a boulder, so that didn't really help us. So the, the, there are elements of the original concept which are in this car, but have been modified quite a bit in order to allow it to slide through the air a lot better. Um, one of them is this black strip right along here. That was one of the design cues on the original Volt. Uh, and the idea was to kind of make it look like it had a, a bigger window space than it really does, to kind of take away some of its kind of cockpit space here. Uh, so that carried on. Also the black roof was something that carried on. Um, and the original concept, this was going to be where the, uh, the plug-in charge would go into. Uh, but the industry adopted a, a circular charge, charging unit, as you can see. And so it's on the other side, but you know that's just now a design, design work. And then also uh, from the rear of the car, to really kind of give this what's called a cam back, to really get this lift back here, because that creates uh, uh, you know, le uh, less drag as the air is coming around. These clips here, this was kind of revolutionary for GM also on here, to really to get the air to fly off and not be pulled back in by any sort of uh, turbulence here. And by the way, these little elements you're going to see on many more GM vehicles going forward. Not just GM, from all cars, because this little look, while it, to my eye it looks cool, it's also a huge impact on air. So, uh, and then of course, be because of this body style, uh, it allows it to be a proper, you know, full-size hatchback. It's got a very, very large uh, storage and cargo space in the back because of its aer overall aerodynamic shape. Got it. Uh, so that's the uh, the main differences between those. But I think uh, should we talk about the the fairing in the front? Oh, sure. One of the criticisms uh, of the vehicle when you drive it is the fact that it's got a very low, hopefully you can see it right down here, a low air dam there. Um, it's a little, little less than four inches off the ground, I believe. And um, the criticism has been when you drive the car, it, it scrapes. Now it's kind of, as you may have noticed, it's kind of soft. It's got some pliable, pliable nature to it, but um, that's really important when it comes to aerodynamics, to really get that air uh, away from getting the, underneath the car, creating turbulence, but then creates drag. Uh, this little lip right here, that's not just for design, that actually helps cut the wind early and send it around as opposed to just allowing it to settle in the space. I mean, the fact that this little nub, if you will, is here and not here or here is all part of science. And interestingly enough, that, uh, that um, air dam that I was referencing underneath there, it's actually made from recycled uh, oil soaked booms that were used to collect oil from the uh, Gulf oil spill two years ago. So it's a very recyclable car as well. We're using recycled materials, I should say.